welcome back to the Express at the Richmond Olympic Oval. We're going to explore fitness and fun in this city coming up after we put you to work on the Fraser River with the Steveston Lifeboat Crew. This could be one of the busiest times on the Steveston part of the Fraser River in years. With 25 million salmon in the river, there are fishing vessels, pleasure crafts, and commercial traffic all jockeying for position. Three miles north of San Jose, for Steveston fishing boat. And then there's the Steveston lifeboat, trying to keep the peace. We want to make sure that the commercial vessels don't get nets tangled around their propellers and, and become disabled. We also want to make sure that the fishermen don't lose their nets and that uh, nobody gets hurt in the process. Bridge wheelhouse. John Horton is the captain of the Steveston lifeboat. Today, he and his crew are guiding commercial traffic down the middle of the river. Well, it's been tremendously busy this morning. We've had uh, eight commercial movements so far this, already this morning. And right now, you can see astern of us. You can see the, uh, the Allison Nicole, which is a tug, and she's got uh, probably about uh, 10 or 12,000 tons of gravel behind her. When you're towing something like that, it does, doesn't just stop when you take the power off. Here you see that he's clearing his net out of the way, but only because we gave four blasts and told him to get his net out of the way. What's that guy doing down there? I've asked that uh, aluminum boat on my port side to tow to the south. This is um, our computer which um, shows you the, the map, the, the chart of the area. And vessels that are putting out a signal um, can, be, can be plotted on here. The green vessel is, is us and the blue line in front of us shows you where we will be in six minutes. Astern of us, we have the Allison Nicole, the, the tug and barge, and he is following us. The crew on the lifeboat all have a history on the water, from a career in the Navy to being tugboat operators themselves. We added it up for fun, and we had 187 years of sea time on board, on board the vessel. That's a lot of experience. We're an all-volunteer organization. Um, we look upon this as our community service. John owns the boat, but it's the lifeboat institution that pays for much of the charting and rescue equipment on the boat, and accidents do happen. In the last couple of weeks, we've hauled um, three, three boats off the rocks down here at the bend. We also had one up here the other day that was almost on the beach. We're trying to save accidents from happening. I'd much rather prevent an accident than have to go and haul a fisherman out of the river. So, I mean, we had a 32-hour opening the other day. We were out for the whole 32 hours. As for fishing, they barely have time. We get so much fish given to us, you don't have to fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Aaron Shaw in Steveston for the Express. Keep going as you're going. The Steveston Lifeboat Crew trains on Thursday nights, and if you're interested in volunteering, you can find out more information at their website. You're watching our Richmond Live, Work and Play special. And since our next story is from the Richmond Arcade, I'd say it definitely falls into the category of play. From the minute you survive that first hairpin, the lights all the way out, all the way out, or barrel down your first straightaway, ship gear. You can feel this isn't just a game. You have to shift when the lights get all the way around here. The game that we're using is actually a simulator. It's considered one of the best precision simulators out there available commercially. The whole experience is different from the point of view that the game doesn't guide you for anything. It's like it's, it's almost the same as stepping inside a car on a racetrack. It's very uh, realistic. Uh, so I personally, I drive uh, S2000 and I go to the tracks myself. And uh, I think this is a very realistic game. It feels the same way. What we're trying to introduce to the city is the concept of a race club or a race lounge like uh, what we had in our previous country. Uh, we come from Chile and we've been doing that for the past four years. And how many racers can you control with this? Uh, it's almost unlimited, but the, but the game has a limitation of 32 players at the same time. Today they're adding two more cockpits for a total of four at this Richmond Arcade. 
This is almost five years of trial and error. We started literally in our office on desk chairs and steering wheels on our office desks. And we literally built it just piece by piece. The labor intensive effort has been a gamble, especially at around $20 for 30 minutes. And even as arcades continue to die off, he has faith. The foundation of the whole business is the social component. You usually go to an arcade or any, any other kind of electronic entertainment. You basically, you go there and you put your coin in and you play and you go away. You hardly ever talk to anybody else. You come here, you race, and afterwards there's so much to talk about. Then everyone starts talking to each other and you start recognizing people from the names because you, because you see their names on the racetrack when you're racing against anybody else. So you can say, oh, you were Ivy. I saw you pass ahead of me. How do you take this turn? And you, you pull away from me. How? You're confident people will come. You said yeah. if they build it, they will come. If you, if you build it, if you build it right, they will come. Because it's, it's something worth trying. And if you, if you are into any kind of competitive sport, you're going to love it. We had actual F3 drivers practice with us. Because as a professional driver, you don't really get that much time on the track with actual competitors. And in here, you get the, the, the opportunity to actually race other people and get that same competition feeling that you get in a real race car. If that's what you're looking for, this is where you can get it. In Richmond, I'm Peter Kim for The Express. Christian's racing simulators are set up at Rush Arcade on Number 3 Road here in Richmond. And his website is vf1motorsports.com. Now you are watching our Richmond special, and we have more from this fit and foodie city coming up. Just 15 seconds. After the break, rock and row at the Oval. Keep it going, keep it going. Three, two, Sea Harbor Chinese Restaurant. And it's all about freshness, uh, all about technique, and, and letting the ingredients speak for themselves. The Express. This is your local voice. We are kids. Fish kids. 10,000 kids. We are brave. We are strong. We are fighters. Some days are good. Some days are bad. Some of us make it. Some of us don't. My wish will make me strong. The Children's Wish Foundation of Canada. Does a wish make a difference? You bet. You bet. Imagine the difference a wish can make. On my two more needles to my wish. Please give today. You're stupid. You're such a loser. Come on, poor eyes. Give me your lunch money now. Give it to me before I smack you. You know what? You're the dumbest kid in the whole school. No wonder nobody likes you. I'm gonna beat the snot out of you. Yeah, come on, bring it. Come on, let's go. Are you afraid of me, eh? I'll take all you guys on. Let's go. Bullies just want to show off. But if everyone just walked away, imagine how silly bullies would look. Walk away. Tell someone. Because bullies aren't bigger than all of us. Welcome back to the Express at the newly expanded fitness center at the Richmond Olympic Oval. So many exercise options to choose from here, including one of the only group rowing classes in the Lower Mainland. All right, are we ready to row? Push. Group rowing is fantastic. Participants love it. It's similar to an indoor cycling class. We've got great music to rock out to while we're going. And it just gives people great options. So you're gonna do five strokes and then you're gonna come with me to the first muscle work. Ready for it? Roll, let's go, it's just 15 seconds. The rock and roll class is a group fitness class on the rowing machines that combine rowing cardio as well as group strength training. And we use the machine to do our exercises on. It's a full body workout, lots of lower body, upper body, very low impact. Erica, that was so much fun. I've never done a group rowing class before and it really kept me in much better form. 
Yeah, glad that you enjoyed it. I've also never done any muscle strength work with a rowing machine before. Like, that's so creative. Yeah, it's a really neat addition that you can do to your workout, too. You know, I hear all the time that people love to work out to music in a group with an instructor that tells them what they have to do. So it's a bit of social as well as, um, you know, just that extra little inspiration. And relax. The new drop-in group fitness schedule kicks into effect on September 13th here at the Richmond Olympic Oval. That's also the week that you can test drive for free all of the registered programming. Now this is not just a healthy city, but it's also a well-fed one. Richmond boasts some of the best Asian restaurants in all of North America. So up next, we're going to find out why Sea Harbor is one of the most popular spots. The chef and cooks at Sea Harbor Restaurant gear up for the busy lunch hour. Sea Harbor is a Chinese restaurant that specializes in Cantonese food. They specialize in seafood, um, especially local seafood. Um, the preparations are clean, um, the preparations are, are simple, and it's all about freshness, uh, all about technique, and, and letting the ingredients speak for themselves. And in case you're intimidated by the large menu, Lee has some words of advice. Most of these Chinese restaurants will have what they call a fresh sheet, um, written in English, there's English and Chinese, and uh, a good restaurant will step you through what's good to order and what's not good to order. And apparently what's good to order here is squab or pigeon to start the meal, as well as a plate of local spot prawns. These are BC spotted prawns, local, sustainable, uh, beautiful product. I mean, they, they have them live in the tank. So if you're adventurous, you take off the head so you can suck the heads. If you don't want to do oh, that. Oh, I don't know if I'm that adventurous. And finally, the centerpiece of the meal, Dungeness crab. Probably what I think is the best Dungeness crab dish in the city. Um, it's a kabuka squash. Uh, crab hot pot and it has got black beans and shallots and garlic. It's tremendous. The, the sweetness of the, the squash, the saltiness of, of the black bean mimics the crab and it kind of extends it and draws it out and, and brings out that kind of natural sweet brininess of the, of the crab. It's fabulous. This is my first Dungeness crab. It's going to be messy. It's nice to have an expert next to me to show me how to <laughs> dive through all this new food. And you know, the nice thing about Chinese food is, um, you know, etiquette. You can get your hands in there. You have fun with it. And I'm not the only one at Sea Harbor enjoying lunch. You look around here and it's, it's all family. And homestyle cooking is, is, is the height of culinary excellence in Chinese food, mm -hmm. much like French food. You know, they all try to recreate what their mother's cooking is like, right? Um, same thing here. And although it was nothing like my mother's cooking, I enjoyed every bite, right down to the dim sum dessert. In Richmond, I'm Kendall Harris for The Express. Fabulous food, amazing people, a state-of-the-art fitness facility. Richmond has it all and then some. It's time for our Express Spotlight on local events. The Richmond Sports Club Open House boasts free drop-in basketball, ping-pong, indoor soccer, martial arts demos, and tours of the brand new facility. Put on by the Richmond Chinese Community Society, this children's drawing contest theme is Smart for the Heart. There'll be craft and games booth for all ages. Registration is on a first-come, first-served basis. Bring along your beloved pooch and join the crowd at beautiful Gary Point Park for a day of family fun at the BC SPCA Pause for a Cause Walk. Also starting this Thursday in Vancouver is the Home and Interior Design Show at the Vancouver Convention Center. And we happen to have tickets, so if you'd like to go, be the first emailer now, the express at shaw.ca, to tell us one thing you learned today about the city of Richmond. And good luck to you. Now that's it for today's show from the Richmond Olympic Oval. I'm Johanna Ward, and on behalf of all of us on the Express, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time, and we'll leave you with a look at the local art scene.